Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, May 25th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, May 25th? What does the viewer need to see in here for today? May 25th. Okay. So let's see here. The first one here. Uh, differences. Um, so perhaps you're starting to notice some kind of difference. Um in your environment, in your home, maybe within yourself. And the differences are, like for an example, you know, two two things could be a fruit, but they're not the same. They're different, but they're still in the same category, I suppose. So um, is there something that you're, you're starting to maybe wake up to or to see something, uh, maybe starting to recognize, um, you know, between loyalty, between truth um between maybe dishonesty or not something like that you know that's what it feels like here with the differences but it's your choice it's it's your pick whatever whatever um direction you want to go towards it is your pick maybe this is opposites too um opposites attracting and coming together for you uh but paying attention is what it feels like today uh, and then you have the reminder uh, and this definitely could be anything as far as uh, reminding yourself of who you are, uh, taking time to ground yourself, um, and maybe not forgetting who you are. With the differences card in this one, it's almost as if you you might be going through changes. Maybe you're discovering who you are in the sense of remembering who you are. Um, or if not, you know, if something's really hectic or... Uh, just overwhelming it's almost as if you just have to sort of sit back relax and remind yourself what it is that you're trying to attain or what it is that you're trying to um, come to an end with uh, like a target meeting your target there you go um, and then you have the rigid so perhaps this is where uh, you're letting things go. Maybe you're seeing the differences in things, and you're rem you're reminded uh, where to st where to go, how to stay on track, how to stay focused. It's almost with the rigid. You're you're softening up. You're letting go of something. This could definitely be like a, anything that is like a, a struggle, uh, a wall. Maybe you put up a really really. Uh, a strong wall around you, uh, you know, emotionally, not letting emotion in or uh, anything like that, okay? So maybe you are rediscovering yourself, it feels like. And then the last one here is loyalty. I'm telling you, I felt like it, it was right here. Something about being loyal, dishonest. Um, are you seeing the differences now? Maybe you're seeing the difference between good and bad. Um, and within yourself, you're really being drawn to loyalty. But it's your choice, really, here with the rigid card. Okay, let's see what's at the top of the deck. Um, the moon. So with the moon card, your intuition could definitely be very strong right now. We are entering the full moon tomorrow. And it's an eclipse as well. So it's going to change things for us very rapidly. Decisions are going to be made. Um, things are really coming to the surface, whether they're in your society, your environment, your home life, work, whatever that is. There's things happening here. There's changes. Uh, your intuition could just really bit, be lit on fire right now. At the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess of fire. Um, I feel like I'm rhyming today. Not rhyming, but almost knowing the, the cards that are going to be coming. Um, the fire, I feel like this is really where your passion lays. Um, you may be trying to work on something for yourself, whether it's, you know, becoming your own boss, uh, whether it's starting up a new project, um, could be artistic, could be musical. Some of you, it could be a book, okay? Um, but I do feel like this is a passion that's really sort of guiding you. Um, with it being a five, it could be you might have not seen, um, you know, between good and bad before you might see it now, okay? Things with a five could be something that's a conflict. Um, doesn't mean it's not changeable. It can be changed, but it really takes your sense of direction to, to change those things. So take it as it resonates for you today. 
I definitely feel uh, tongue-tied, which is sort of like anxious a little bit, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see what this means. So, welcome, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope you're staying healthy and safe out there. In your mind, really. If you're healthy and safe, safe in your mind, you will always be safe, guys. Um, so, let's see here. Uh, let's see. What is the differences? What is the differences that they're seeing or realizing or um the two of cups have you gone with someone that wasn't so loyal and so honest and now you have the truth about the partner or the situation that you want to be in with the two of cups and the ace of swords that's what it feels like i feel like whoever this is whether this is you or them um or maybe just in, in a situation it's almost as if there's some sort of honesty or some, some sort of recognition that's sort of being shined on and it's giving you that sense of a new beginning um a little bit anxious like i said um so maybe you're just anxious to to start moving on something maybe maybe it is a new love with the two of cups excuse me i got the hiccups again guys sorry um maybe it's the two of cups as far as a lover um a partner business partner that is um or just going down maybe healing um things between if they're not lovers then maybe healing things between friends or um uh family members okay maybe even it is a the sense of healing something between you and another person that you're in love with okay um what is the ace of swords here i feel like there's there needs to be communication maybe opening up conversing um you got the five of pentacles you're missing either you're missing someone or they're missing you uh, maybe you feel a little bit left out in the cold or um the sense of loss you know i feel you're missing this um okay that was fast um the knight of cups so um really at this point where you're just feeling it i feel like with the five of pentacles and the knight of cups you're really feeling it like as far as in the gut the gut and the heart um maybe sadness maybe wanting to reach out maybe needing to reach out but there's the apologies that need to be said i feel with the ace of swords and the knight of cups um are you thinking that if you apologize to this person they won't take your apology or it's not enough um uh let's see what is the five of pentacles please the five of pentacles so you got the queen of cups the queen of pentacles the chariot the emperor with the five of cups the knight of swords and the five of swords and they sort of just plopped over like a little book so i do feel like this is um perhaps maybe you know if you're having to pick between one lover and another i do feel like there's that sense of needing to take charge with the chariot and the emperor uh on what you want um not 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 moving towards the things that you're wanting to move to or putting this sense of uh unsatisfactory kind of feeling in your in your path in your journey um maybe there's a regret maybe you keep looking back because maybe you went down the wrong path uh and this is definitely that sense with the five of swords and the knight of swords that you need to take some sort of quick action um and maybe that's what the the anxiousness feeling that i'm having it's almost as if you put yourself into a dark situation thinking that it was a light situation but when it's all said and done it's really quite a dark kind of uh toxic kind of situation that you're either in or really trying to pull out but i do feel that there's that sense of leadership that needs to be taken with the emperor and the chariot okay maybe it's throwing in the towel and just sort of uh, you know letting bygones be bygones or admitting you made a mistake um maybe even forgiveness because i do feel uh, for some of you with the two of cups and the ace of swords there's that energy of needing to forgive somebody um you know it could be vice versa too guys uh see ten of swords stuck is is it the ego that's making you feel stuck like you can't move forward from something um because maybe you have to sort of say that you were wrong you know uh, the Queen of Pentacles, please. The Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, there's too many. Queen of Pentacles, please. Queen of Pentacles. 
Queen of Pentacles. It's this one right here. Maybe those two. Um, the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Um, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Wands, it's really that sense of maybe this is where you're gonna get you're gonna get um, either a sturdy foundation, uh, a sturdy job, um, maybe even a sturdy home. Okay. Uh, perhaps even a sturdy relationship. Have you been grounding on yourself? Like not grounding on yourself, I'm sorry. Have you been grounding yourself, working on yourself in the sense to become more stable in order to take action on this this uh, Four of Wands? Um, let's see. Let's see what the Queen of Cups is. Queen of Cups, please. The Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups? Is this the person that makes you sort of grounded with the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Knight of Wands? Is that what you're recognizing? Uh, Queen of Wands, please, for this reading. What is the Queen of Wands? What is the Queen of Wands, please? Okay, so Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords. So either you have um, a mother figure, a wife, uh, a boss, uh, maybe even a, a sister or cousin something like that that holds you back they hold you in that sense of um fear uh, maybe in the sense that you know you if you try something you're gonna fail maybe this person puts you down or belittles you in that sense and they hold you back from growing um because those are not nice cards okay at one point maybe there was love there maybe you've matured and know that you have to sort of end something and that's what the queen of wands is here almost like trying to make you take charge or to open up and follow that intuition um uh, definitely that's what it feels like uh we see the quant the the queens here i definitely do feel like these are energies um i don't feel i do feel the queen of queen of cups is a person i do feel that perhaps the queen of pentacles is a person but as far as the queen of wands i feel it's an action it's almost that sense of needing to either use your intuition or your gut feeling that perhaps maybe you need to end something with the four of wands so that you can get into a stable situation and what i was going to say with the queen of cups it could be one of those one of those people for you somebody you know a family member a loved one wife mother whatever um i feel like those that person sort of ties you down um and so with the five of swords here and the five of cups you have the ability to change those things and make that choice and take leadership. So is this new partnership that you want to go towards? Is this the sense of um, making amends, you know, with, with people from your past or it, it, with situations that just maybe hurt you or hurt them? Um, I do feel with the Queen of Wands, that's that action card. Uh, taking action, um, following intuition, um, really allowing yourself to grow again. For some of you, it's moving. There's something as far as um, moving uh, locations, maybe work location or where you live, okay? Um, the Four of Wands could definitely be that kind of card of taking, um, you know, ending things, letting things end, okay? Uh, also giving yourself stability and that sense of uh, being sturdy, is what I feel okay uh, and perhaps maybe if there are three women in your life that are giving you a sense of a headache and a sense of just too much going on I do feel that you have to pull yourself apart and somewhat take some kind of control and really take the time to see between the good and the bad that's what it feels like right there um, you could be in a situation where what I see is, um, you know, it's almost like you compare one to the other. Uh, you might have chosen to go down the path with someone other than who your heart really wanted you to, like your soul, you know, um, and you compare them. You keep comparing them to the, the person that you're with is not the person you want to be with. But you compare that person to the person you want to be with. That's what I'm trying to spit out. I hope that makes sense. Um, and for some of you, that's pretty hard. I feel like that's sort of saddening that you have to do that. Uh, so there's something here that you need to sort of surrender, either make a change in it, take leadership and change it, and really take some kind of action for it, okay? 
Um, so is the reminder memories, are they memories in, in the sense of thinking about in the past or when you're remembering somebody that you want to be with or uh, something like that? Okay, so you got the tower and the justice. So something's coming down. Something's helping you to maybe remember yourself, uh, remember who you are, like uh, mind, body, spirit kind of a thing. I do feel like with the justice, this is that sense of becoming free enough to maybe make your own decisions. Have you gotten divorced from somebody? Are you in the process of divorcing from somebody with the justice card? Um, there's really that sense of letting go of maybe something material, going towards something more natural, um, something that isn't quite controlling, okay? Um, Maybe you have just a really controlling boss or a very controlling mother or wife, okay? You got to take it as it resonates. Uh, what is the tower, please? The tower. What is the tower? So you have the eight of wands. Um, the way that you're moving in the sense of, um, in the direction that you're moving, it's taking you to where you need to go. It's This tower is placing you in that place for you to take action. In other words, if you've been sort of sitting back and not taking action for whatever reason, maybe it wasn't the right time or you couldn't do it or you didn't have enough courage or strength, maybe you've been sick, whatever that is, with that tower and the eight of wands, it's pushing you in that sense of let that stuff go so that you can move on, you can go forward, okay? Uh, what is the justice? It's something that you keep wanting as well. Something you've been manifesting, manifesting something that's very emotional for you as well. Um, okay, justice card, please. What is the justice? Um, do you think it's over? That's what they said. I don't know. Um, the high priestess, the three of pen pentacles, the empress, and the, the hanging man. So pretty much i do feel like this is definitely spirit trying to guide you uh with the high priestess to follow your intuition to allow yourself to really um allow yourself to learn and to change with those 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 uh the things that you learn okay um i do feel like there's that sense of maybe paving a new path for you with the high priestess but it really it really is being pushed by uh, your consciousness, meaning it's going to push you to the right direction. Um, you got the hangman and the empress. Empress. So there is something there in the sense of, um, you know, maybe something you've been separated from, maybe something that you've been waiting to sort of gain or have an abundance in, or uh, maybe just feel, touch, smell, that kind of thing. Something tangible that you want. With the Three of Pentacles, I think that this is somebody who has either worked out a situation and I have the sense of freedom, the sense of being able to roam around or go wherever you want. I do feel like this is an enlightenment with the hangman in the sense of being aware of what you're manifesting, what you're attracting. Uh, you could definitely be learning how to manifest and attract the positive things in life. Maybe this is a separation from a person also. I think I said that, but it's coming up again so this could be like a separation okay um but i do feel there's been some kind of work or some kind of epiphany of who you are there's that sense of remembering the feelings the touching um really a sense of missing and it's emotional as well okay so i do feel whatever that is um uh, with the reminder it's almost as if you know, finding comfort, uh, knowing, knowing what's going to make you happy. Um, maybe it's this person. Okay. And then you got the three of pentacles. So learning to work either, either on your own, on a good foundation with your mind, your body and spirit. I think this is that, that turn, that sense of, um, turning a, um, into, uh, turning a transformation into success. Okay. Um, you got the emperor and the empress so is this your person here's the emperor here's the, the the empress so you could be separated from your person really is what i see um what is the rigid so with the rigid i feel that that's the crossroad there with the two of swords you didn't know how to move to others per, towards this person or this situation you were sort of blocked in um 
maybe you didn't feel good enough for it maybe you just didn't somehow because i do feel like there's a belittling aspect here to somebody the way they think about themselves almost a sense of they're not good enough or um not not quite open you know somebody who holds back and stays in that sense of a fork in the road not really being able to move or change things um but there's a choice that needs to be made there what is the rigid and the two of swords two of swords with the rigid please two of swords with the rigid please okay so um you got the eight of wands you have the king of wands uh the page of cups so now you have the king and the queen of wands okay and then you have the empress and the empress the emperor and the empress i'm sorry um so is this where you're headed is this sort of where the wind is blowing you it has there been a choice to maybe take some kind of leadership to either move from a location either move from a, a relationship to another maybe ending one to go to another maybe starting your own job um you know your own career your own business something like that okay uh, working together i see whoever this is they work together or they will work together um what is that like uh what i see is like uh maybe building a business together okay uh with with this person from the two of cups it could be a lover and it could be just a business partner you have to take it how it how it resonates for you uh what is the loyalty here loyalty i think you're learning to be loyal to yourself for some of you not so much attract the loyalty but you're being loyal to yourself because you've been stuck here with the eight of swords and the ten of swords but it's all by misguidance you know um things that people have been telling you that are not true either about yourself which really caused the self-esteem to go down um i i feel belittling belittling kind of thing okay uh either that or it's just miss miss being misrepresented or misinformed okay um, I do feel that you're starting to attract loyalty or you're discovering maybe that person from that time was more loyal than the person now. OK, because I see comparison as well. Um, in other words, you can't be that person. <laughs> then why are you with them? It, it's sort of ironic, but you got the judgment and the king of swords. So the king of swords is really that energy of having um, this kind of confidence and knowing what you want and go getting you know go get it and really putting the the sword down in the ground is really that sense of um you know uh, not not lying being honest being in control um with the judgment it could be a second chance here uh, whether this is your person or not i do feel like with the judgment and the king of swords it's that sense of rejuvenation that sense of renewing um and it is a second chance okay for whoever this is maybe it's a second chance in the sense of thinking better for the for for themselves or for yourself it gives you that sense of um, confidence happiness clarity also gives you the courage to move away from certain situations whether they're love family money children even okay and maybe even brothers and sisters i see um so whatever that is there is that sense of this king of swords really um becoming loyal either to you or to themselves maybe both together okay um this person could have stepped out on you meaning had affairs on you or you to them you know you got to take it as it resonates here maybe you're you're in the sense of trying to make amends okay um and really the judgment is just like really not to have any kind of judgment on anyone else especially yourself especially if you made mistakes uh, don't hold back and stagnant kind of fear uh, you know especially if it's something you love you want to go towards it okay so that you don't miss out give me one more for the loyalty one more okay so you have all oh, the three of cups coming together celebrating reunion gathering more than three a bunch it feels like a bunch um this is really happy 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 uh, maybe maybe getting invites, you know, uh, to go out and mingle. Um, I do feel it's that sense of happiness and unified, okay? Um, what is the conclusion of this story, please? What is the conclusion 
of this story the queen of wands intuitive moving action um there's a lot of things gonna happen a lot of answers coming through um meaning things you've been waiting to to hear answers about you'll get answers this is also um just really in the sense of being grounded and somewhat um, passionate and loving maybe even tender um let's see here okay so you got the two of pentacles and i do feel a choice has been made either to take action to move away from unbalanced situations uh not having any more to do with with trickery or stagnation or fear um what else please what else here what else uh the nine of wands healing healing that wall bringing that barrier down um getting answers seeing the truth um apologies even okay um the ace of swords please ace of swords <laughs> the lovers choosing to love you is what they said um or you vice versa to they to them um, so this is either could be choosing that love of your life, your partner, um, or it could be that sense of uh, choosing what you love to do, okay? Happiness, um, balanced, harmony. It's where sort of um, where, where, um, where you've been guided to, okay? Divinely guided is what it feels like. Uh, so let's see here. What can you show me about this karmic cycle here? If there is a karmic cycle here, what is the karmic cycle? Um, and I, I do see a lot of people. So you might have had a lot of people in this situation. Uh, it, now it's sort of time to sort of think about you. Um, so there is a gift coming. Uh, in the sense of somebody bringing you a gift, something happy, something lucky, something true, they said. Uh, maybe this is a friend helping you as well, okay? Uh, you got the lover and the priest. This is somebody who's had a total transformation um, from maybe not being somewhat uh, in tune with the spirit, with the creator, with God, um, really balanced. I feel like this is sort of a heaven send. Maybe you've helped this person. Maybe they've helped you. Uh, and it's a gift. I feel like it's a gift. A gift from God, they said. Definitely here with... Um, the little the little priest okay it's a gift from god okay and then um, money so abundance um maybe even if it is work related and you're choosing to do what you love you're gonna make money even though some other people might have taken advantage of you or you know maybe stole from you because of the loyalty card you know um, maybe you stayed in something because of money okay and uh maybe because you didn't think you'd have enough to leave the situation or the the marriage or something like that but let's see the last one that comes down is the misfortune so see all the misfortunes they're going to be swept away and you can have prosperity and in that sense of feeling um more confidence on the inside more beautiful um just sort of ready i feel with that peacock okay so let's see here. Um, what can you show me to reference this reading, please? What can you show me here for this reading? What can you show me, please, to tie this together? Okay, thank you. Let's see here. The first one. Wow, the bedroom. And so the bedroom is real intimacy. Intimacy. It's a six. It's something that is very harmonizing. I do feel it's very twin flame, very like full of intimacy, but let's see what the words say. A sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep. Um, they can sleep with you. Uh, in other words, you make them comfortable to where they can sleep comfortably. Okay, they can't sleep, whoever that is for you. Uh, contentment, leisure, nap, sleep on it, alone time. Oasis, retiring, dream time, astral travel, call it a day. So you pick what that means for you. Uh, but somebody said they sleep. They sleep better when you're around. Um, or maybe next to them is what they're saying. So then you got the universe. So source, in infinite, 
Uh, and this is where I'm getting um, with the priest. And maybe, you, you know, you're being sort of blessed uh, and guided. Okay. So source and in infinite. Um, uh, let's see. Unending, enduring, and eternal creating, creation, awakening, interconnected, higher perspective, the big picture, all that is, all that is creative force, love, one. See, and that's what I felt with the three of pentacles. Your mind, your body, your spirit. You're you're sort of having that second second wave of a, a rejuvenation. You know, you feel good. Okay, either you or them. And then the cabin, so lonely, confined, detached, remote, secluded, go within, um, closed off, kept apart, quarantine, island, segregate, separated, divided, discontent, disconnected sequestered so i feel with the three of cups that's the opposite of that energy it's like you're coming out of that all those feelings maybe that's what's happened here you know um, and then happening now the situation or event in question is occurring right now and what is that situation is there a change here with that being a five okay and then um the last one so coin toss choices either or be fair considering pros and cons fate two sides to every story butterfly effect either way 50 50 chance unpredict unpredictable um can't decide take a choice so someone's still contemplating um but i see a lot of really good messages there too so take them as they resonate guys so let's see here um what is the angel message for this reading please the angel message okay i feel like these two okay let's see athena it is safe for you to be powerful you know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself you're found finding your power whoever this is okay and it's okay to do that it's not a bad thing then the other one that came out is ariel New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And I do believe that one came out yesterday as well. And I already shuffled the cards again today. So I do feel like that is happening on a big mass scale. Really, I do feel that. Okay, uh, let's take this affirmation of the day. What's the affirmation of the day here, please? this one here okay so it says okay it says i am positive motivated and determined i live with the sense of a purpose and choice incredible success in everything i do that is great very nice yes you do as you should feel that way okay and then um let's see here what is the chakra message here, please? The chakra message. What is the chakra message? Okay. So, there are three, four. Um, healthy connection, heart chakra. Someone's healed here in order to have this connection, okay? Um, maybe it's both that's healing as well. The gift of gratitude, so heart chakra as well. Getting out of that sort of pity party that we talked about yesterday. Not bad. And then love, so trust. Uh, open up your, your, your um, root chakra to allow love in. Uh, don't stay sort of uh, in a place where you don't allow love in with that rigid card. If you've been hurt in the past or you don't know how to get out of something and it's just causing you a lot of pain. This, the gift of strength, so solar plexus, this involves a lot of healing too because when you, you clear out that solar plexus that's been blocked, it allows you to see and sense and touch and feel and that's what I definitely felt out of this reading earlier. Um, so I want to know what is the soul message for today with this reading please? The soul message. Okay, so... Um, let's see, it's verse two. How can I surrender even more in this moment? 
It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It is time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room and breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet. But you know it's coming. So today's action, know this so deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose. And the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Oh, yes, that is so true. So today's mantra, I surrender. I accept all that I cannot change. I release the outcome. And I joyfully trust the process. Very nice. And so this one here, sorry about my dog. She, I don't know if she's dreaming or sorry about that, guys. What am I grateful for right now? It's funny because this card says, like, what can you do now? You know, and so does this one. So adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all your problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves your health opens your heart and changes your state of mind today's soul action the universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that which we are focused on close your eyes put your hand on your heart and think of three things for which you are grateful today notice the abundance growing within you very nice so i do hope that um this is definitely helps somebody this one has happening now too so things are about to happen especially if you're looking for that to happen um i do hope that this helps somebody thank you so much for being here please like share and subscribe leave me your comments and share this message and just have a beautiful day stay blessed i'll see you tomorrow guys thank you